What is the origin of your bad feelings toward LJ? Uh, it's not really much about me, about him. You know, he, he posed no threat to me. I don't see where his game is at the level where he can come out and criticize anybody as a player. The history behind the Scottie Pippen and Larry Johnson beef. Scottie Pippen was not one to shy away from a feud on the basketball court, whether it was Isaiah Thomas. Michael, did you want him on the team? Well, I can't speak for Michael, but uh, no, I did not want him on the team. I, okay, I don't mind Michael Jordan saying, Thank I you. didn't want Isaiah to be on the dream team. Okay. <laughs> Scotty Pippen, I'm not playing if Isaiah play. Man, go, hey, go to the park. <laughs> Charles Barkley. I wouldn't get Charles Barkley an apology at gunpoint. So he could never expect an apology from me. If anything, he owed me an apology for coming and play with his star in fact, but. Or Larry Johnson. And Scotty Pippen had something to say too. He's garbage. I, I don't think Scotty said, I, I think he said he's garbage. <laughs> there was always someone to go back and forth with. Not to mention, it was the 1990s, and the NBA was a lot different back then. To many, it was not only the golden era of basketball, but also the best era for trash talking. With Larry Bird fading out of the game, the league still had players like Michael Jordan, Gary Payton, Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller, and at the end of the era, Kevin Garnett and Kobe Bryant, whom were all great trash talkers. It made the game fun and exciting, a game within a game. So, this beef between Scottie Pippen and Larry Johnson at the time was actually very typical for the era, just another exchange between two rival players, except this one we can look back on and relive the feud that was lit in 1997, and break it all down in 2020. So with that said, if you enjoy these types of videos, please let me know by smashing that like button. It literally takes one second of your time and it helps my channel out tremendously. And if you're new around here and you enjoy these types of videos every single week, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more. And with that said, let's get on to the video. Let's rewind to the start of the regular season back in 1997. The two guys he has exchanged pleasantries with this year have been Larry Johnson and Jeff Van Gundy. Pippen spoke to Jim Gray. Pippen had made some remarks about how the New York Knicks made a terrible move in the offseason as they lost their toughness by replacing Anthony Mason with Larry Johnson. I think that Mason gives you a lot more than what Johnson can give you. Mason at the time was one of the New York Knicks' hardest players. Michael Jordan in a statement said, Mace was one of the toughest competitors of our era, and many players would attest to that statement, but nevertheless, they traded him away for Larry Johnson. Many think the Knicks dug their own hole by way of the LJ trade, although some don't want to discuss it. I can't hear y'all because I got my headphones on, but I appreciate sure y'all can hear me. Leave me the f alone. Larry Johnson was just coming off his stint in Charlotte and looked like a very promising player, despite the fact that he was dealing with major back injuries at the time. But surprisingly, Johnson didn't retaliate to Pippen's comments. Well, he didn't up until they faced off against each other for the first time in the 1997 NBA season. During their first matchup against one another, you could see the tension between LJ and Pippen from the moment the ball was tipped. But that night belonged to Jordan, as he dropped 51 points and was having a little fun of his own with the New York Knicks head coach, Jeff Van Gundy. Jordan with 49. Jordan now has 51. And he is screaming at Jeff Van Gundy. And he's still there. And he's, he was not going to pass that ball. The Bulls and the Knicks would go back and forth, but the Bulls would end up winning the game by one point. And like I said, MJ had 51 points. But the New York Knicks fall to Chicago in the first of four games this year. They're 28 and 12. Yeah, I noticed on the last basket, you took a hard look at the Nick bench. I did. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. After the game, Larry Johnson had some words for Scottie Pippen. You know, whatever Scottie thinks about me, fine. You know, he, he posed no threat to me. He knows what I think about him, which is nothing. But then Pippen after the game would go on to say that Larry Johnson was garbage. And Scottie Pippen had something to say too. He's garbage. I, I don't think Scottie said, I think he said he's garbage. <laughs> He might as well have been sitting over there with Spike Lee. All he's doing is being a cheerleader for them. He's trying to get the monkey off his back. You know, we're not best of friends on or off the court. Larry's doing the talking and Pippen responding. This led to a highly anticipated second matchup between the two teams. I talked to Larry Johnson before the game. He said, this is the ultimate pickup game played in the ultimate place. It's Patrick and his boys against Michael and his boys to see who is the best today. Because not only did you have the beef between Larry Johnson and Scottie Pippen, it was also MJ and Van Gundy. 
Well, in that earlier meeting against the Knicks in Chicago, Michael Jordan lit up the Knicks for 51 points. And you may recall Jordan lashing out verbally at Nick coach Jeff Van Gundy. Michael upset that Van Gundy had said that Jordan uses friendships and stature uh, to con some of his opponents. We talked about this earlier with Michael and asked, is this still ongoing? It's kind of downplayed a little bit, but it's never forgotten. I think, uh, you know, when you hear certain things like that, uh, you, you put them in your memory bank and you use them whenever you feel you had the need to. And, um, you know, I, so I hadn't really forgotten it. In the second game between the Knicks and the Bulls, Larry Johnson made it his mission to shut down Scotty. He purposely only took four shots the entire game and tried to hassle Pippen defensively. Scotty Pippen upset. Scotty off to a slow start. One of five for the field. And the guy he was tangled up with, yeah, there it is, is Larry Johnson. Scotty Pippen with eight points, three of seven from the field. Just one rebound, two assists, and the three fouls. It is 19 minutes. And this time, it was LJ's turn to talk, as Johnson decided to add even more fuel to the fire within the Bulls and Knicks rivalry. Pippen finished that game with just 14 points while shooting a shocking 4 from 18 from the field. Whilst Johnson also didn't have the best game scoring only 7 points, he did take credit for shutting down Pippen defensively though. Jordan didn't have the greatest shooting night either, but he still dropped 36. But in the end, the Bulls would lose, and the Knicks won. The Knicks have evened the series at one apiece with Chicago. 97-93 is the final. Which meant that it was Larry Johnson's time to head to the media. That night, Larry Johnson had some words for Scotty, and he responded to his remarks from their first matchup by telling Pippen to pipe down. He said, he needs to shut his mouth now. All he needs to do is give the ball to number 23. That's his best play right there. Here, 23, bail us out. He needs to shut his mouth. You know, Larry Johnson referring to Pippen needs to shut his mouth. He's a bum. And to be fair, he wasn't lying. Scotty did have an awful game, but either way, Pippen didn't like the remark that LJ made. Uh, it's not really much about me, about him. Uh, it was the comment that he made about myself, about our team, uh, you know, how he felt like that we were, as a team, Michael's coattailers, if you want to say that. Definitely when he made the comment about me personally, uh, you know, it, it, it was kind of touching at that moment for me. To top it off, Pippen also questioned Van Gundy's coaching by putting Larry Johnson on Michael Jordan, but instead, MJ nearly won them the game in the end. Van Gundy is not at the level of Michael or Phil. You know, he's trying to live off what Pat Riley has done for the Knicks, which is nothing. Jeff Van Gundy said that when you have number 23 on your team, it allows people like you to get very cocky. Do you resent that? No, not at all. Then why the barb? toward the coach of the Knicks? Well, I didn't make any comment towards Van Gundy other than, you know, him putting LJ on Michael. I mean, uh, LJ not being able to defend me. Uh, and then you put him on one of the greatest scores in, in the game. Uh, that was kind of a, 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 I guess, a tough decision. Well, that's not saying a lot for Van Gundy's coaching, I guess. Jordan did mount a comeback in that second game after dropping 51 in the first game, but unfortunately for the Bulls, it wasn't enough, and the Knicks would go on to win the game. So, on to a highly anticipated third game of their season series. Before the game, Pippen had this to say about Larry Johnson after he previously criticized Pippen after the game prior. He hasn't been able to accomplish anything to the level that where he's opened up people's eyes to think that, you know, he's a great player in this game, or he has made a mark at this, this level. You know, the comment that LJ made or I spoke first or whatever, uh, you know, it was, it was motivation to look forward to seeing them again. But for us, it's a, a game in which we can experiment with, mess around with some of our bench players, let them get experience against a team that we consider a violent, a violent, I didn't mean to use that word, but a viable opponent for us in the playoffs. And to start off the game, it was clear, Pippen was out for business. He dapped everybody up besides LJ, and it was on. A lot of jawing between uh, Larry Johnson and Scottie Pippen. That's something that began about a month ago. When... Following the March 9th game here at the Garden between the Knicks and Bulls, uh, Pippen and Larry Johnson got into it, and uh, Larry Johnson Referring to Pippen needs to shut his mouth. He's a bum. All he does is get up there and hand the ball to number 23. That's his best play, and uh, that certainly started things. And it's showing itself here now in their matchup tonight, which has been very physical. And Pippen's been getting his shots and looking for them early. 
And a loose ball foul on Oakley. And that Scotty Pippen had something to say, too. Surprising. He's usually a quiet man. He's garbage. That's very nice. He's trying to get the monkey off his back, meaning Larry Johnson. He refers to all the money that was spent to get Larry Johnson here. 2-0, Knicks on top. Pippen off the weed, meant by Johnson. Scotty off the glass. Pippen out front. Team talent-wise, Pippen out front. Scotty Pippen. It's a screen from Longley, and Pippen's been hot from the outside. Tip to the fadeaway. Throughout the game, it was no question. The media had blown this rivalry out. The fans were enjoying it. But the Bulls made it their mission to openly feed Scottie Pippen as much as they could. In fact, Pippen had 33 points through the first three quarters, and by the time the fourth quarter came around, they switched LJ onto Mike, and instead in the last quarter, it was MJ, the greatest of all time, who would end up dropping 20 points in the fourth quarter and led his team to victory. Pippen had responded off his horrific game against the Knicks just a month before as he went for 33 points whilst Jordan went for 34 and the Bulls got the win 105 to 103. Larry Johnson would finish with 19 points and 6 rebounds which was respectable but the Knicks still lost. Pippen had the game tying steal and had the last laugh. So with that said, let me know what you think about this story, this rivalry between Larry Johnson and Scottie Pippen, and after all, it was a feud that was turned into something bigger, something special. It was a rivalry within a rivalry, and it's these types of player rivalries and player beef that we miss today in the current years of the NBA. And to me, it makes the game exciting. Let me know what you think about the feud between LJ and Pippen, and let me know if you have any other videos you'd like me to make similar to this one. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's aim for a thousand likes. And if you're new around here and you enjoy NBA content every single week, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's been your boy Nick Smith. I'm out. Peace.